You good? For today's vlogmas, I wanted to tell the story of how we got this little cat. For those who don't know, I was born and raised in Turkey. I was there until I was 15. So we were living in Turkey and if you don't know, Turkey is riddled with street cats and street dogs, but a lot of cats. It's like, it's like squirrels in North America. That's how common they are. Like wherever you go, there's gonna be street cats. Most of these street cats are you know friendly with humans but they can take care of themselves and they don't want to be house cats so you can go out on the street and you can feed the street cats which i would do all the time i would always buy cat food and feed all the street cats and they'll come they'll eat the food they'll even let you pet them and then they'll go about their business like they have their own lives they don't need you and there's always new street cats like they're always having babies none of them are neutered so there there's always like new babies around it's super cute so this one day we started hearing this meowing coming from inside our building the cats never come inside the building they're always outside the building so that was odd she wasn't like a baby but she was a small cat so you could tell that she was born that year but like she was big enough that she wasn't with her mom anymore my dad had always been against having pets in the house so we never we were never able to get a cat or anything like that and she was meowing like like somebody was murdering her like she was desperate and for some reason that day when he heard this cat meowing like that it touched his heart or something and he came and he said do you want to adopt this cat and i was shocked i was like really seriously of course so yeah we just kind of opened the door to her and we gave her some food and she was very happy she was really a street cat wanting to be a house cat. I named her Rina. I don't know why, but later on my grandmother told me that apparently Rina means joy in Hebrew, which is just so cute. Yeah, we got her all our shots, you know, we took her to the vet, we, you know, traumatized her like taking her to the vet. The first night she was sleeping cuddled up with this other cat toy. And we took a picture of it. It was the cutest thing. But she was feral. Like she was not she wouldn't let people pet her you know you couldn't just grab her put her on your lap and she would stay no way like she would not stay on anybody's lap she would run off yeah most of the days she would be hiding we wouldn't know where she is she would find the most secret corner of the house and just hide there all day and we would never be able to find her and we still let her go outside by the way we didn't keep her prisoner of the house we were always opening the door and she would go and run downstairs it wasn't a very high building it was we were on the second floor and she would spend sometimes the whole day outside or sometimes just a couple of hours and then when she wanted to come back in she would just start meowing at the apartment door and usually somebody like a, a random person would just open the door to go in and she would run in after them come to our door meow and then we would open the door for her and she can come inside so she was free she was free to go she was free to come back and she always came back she loved being a house cat and being fed and on that note she's actually quite a picky eater she's picky about the cat food but when she likes it she'll eat it but other than that she will not eat wet food the only thing she'll eat is tuna canned tuna in water not in oil she just likes the one in water she is really good at grooming herself She's a very clean cat. I think it's because, you know, they're raised with their family, with their mothers, and they probably teach them how to clean themselves. So she's really good at that. She's really good at going to the bathroom in a litter box. Although in the beginning, she was a bit confused because she kept trying to dig our house plants and pee in the dirt because she's used to dirt poor thing like she doesn't know that she's supposed to do it in the litter so we started covering our house plants with like cardboard but then she got used to the litter thank god and she doesn't do that anymore so that was the only real problem she caused in the house is that she was digging the plants but other than that the only other downside was how scared she was like I said, she wouldn't let you pet her. She would never ever let us touch like the chest area. She still won't let us touch the stomach area, never. It was only on her terms. Like if she wants, she will come to your lap. And if you start petting her, she'd probably run off. Over the years, she definitely relaxed more. Another thing is she has no health issues. She's a very, very healthy cat. Sometimes there's more inbreeding to create a breed in the first place. So 
I think they're genetically more susceptible to illness and all of these things. The more mixed up they are genetically, the healthier they are. So street cats, f strays, you know, feral cats, they're the healthiest that you can get. And there's so many cats in shelters and things like that who need a home. So I hope if you see this video, you'll be inspired to adopt a stray cat or a feral cat who needs a home. This is the best thing about her. Okay, you can put like a whole bucket of cat food just out, leave it out there. She will go, she'll only eat until she's full and then she'll leave it alone. She's so good at that. There were so many times where we went on vacation and we literally left buckets and buckets of cat food and buckets of water and she just sustains herself. One thing that I can say she taught me is how to have good boundaries because I think cats have the best boundaries of any animal or pet you could have. They're really all about their personal space and you have to respect their personal space and respect their, their energy. Like if she's in a calm mood and you want to pet her all excited, she's gonna bite you. Um, <laughs> you know, like you have to kind of respect her as a, her own being. True for everybody. I think you have to respect everybody as their own whether they're a person or an animal. That's it for today, and thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.